This piece involves how to work on your rock and roll wheel using Silhouette Studio. So at this point I've opened Silhouette Studio and you can either use your file open to find a file that you've saved or else you can take the um, a drag and drop an image that you've already pre-selected. So I'm going to drag and drop an image that I've selected and I'm going to make it a size where I'd like to work with it. So I'm going to blow them up a little bit. Um, ideally you want for this to be a rather tall picture for this particular cutout to work well. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it. So I'm going to come over here to the Edit Points tool and I'm going to actually cut around my character. So I'm going to add some points and kind of work them through and around him. But what's nice with this particular tool is that you can actually drag the pieces in and out to cut, um, to cut out the excess background that you don't want um, and it will cut right along these outside edges. So once I've used the trim tool to um, tighten up my character a little bit, I'm going to add some points and then drag where I'd like for him to go. But that's tightened it up and it's going to cut around those spaces. The next thing that I'm also going to need to do is make sure to make the circle wheel. So I've clicked the circle tool here on the left and I'm going to drag it you want for it to be about five inches. This may be a little bit smaller, but it's pretty close. And the one thing that you want to notice is you can look at the measures both on the side and bottom to make sure that it's as round as possible. Um, and once you've done that, the other thing that you want to consider is adding just a small hole in the middle so that when you use your uh, paper fasteners, it's easier to push right through those. So the next thing that you're going, going to want to do is make sure that you've um, cut those tools. So you're going to come over here to the scissors and around this particular line you're going to tell it to cut. Your other option is to perforate but we're not going to do that now. Similarly around this particular character we want to um, cut him too.